Hey everybody, I'm in my last 30 minutes of the Aspen leg of the Me Camp tour. So I'm gonna come up here. So here's where I was, this is my little apartment right here. And then literally directly in my backyard, this is the like interview tent where they've been doing like all these cool recordings. You got, do you know who was sitting here yesterday? Katie Couric. Yeah, she sure was. Katie Kirk was right here and like a real creeper. I stood right here in my window and I took a picture of her. Anyway, they're not in there right now, so I'm gonna walk us up there for my final message um, from Aspen. I mean, there's all the fans. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here, I know. I know that. But I just want you to see why they chose this spot as the place for the interview. Like here's all their stuff. It's just, I'm right here. Can I do a quick video here, like this? <laughs> That's my apartment. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand here. I'm just gonna stand here and do a quick little look at this. Look at the ideas. Look, this is the guy. I'm not the guy. You're a right guy. I am a guy. You're a guy. That is for sure. This is I something agree. you understand here, all this equipment. I do understand what's going on here. Uh-huh, you do. Hey, this, this isn't a bad view for all your videoing, by the way. I mean, I don't hate it. Who are you interviewing today in this tent? I don't know. I'm looking to get all this stuff out of this tent so I can go. Uh, okay. It's been a week, right? It's been 10 days. Long okay. Long. All right. Well done, you. Okay. Thank you. Kind of got in trouble, but like kind of not. That is the way I talk myself out of ever being in trouble. You just witnessed it. That is my entire um, way to do it. Okay. Last thing from Aspen and Ideas Camp. Probably just like Katie Couric said yesterday. You know, I just find feel kindred to her since I'm in the same interview tent. Let me come over here so we can get just a little. Okay. Um, last thing, one sort of practice that I apply to travel, particularly meet camp travel, where I'm not managing kids, I'm not balancing competing interests with whatever other adult is with me, I'm not like, you know, whatever, it's just, it's just me, is that I just decide wherever I go, I am going to love what they love. Um, I actually apply this to more than travel. I think this works for our relationships too. Um, so when I come here to Aspen and a local tells me, I know it seems weird. I was at White House Tavern eating lunch yesterday, which Shauna Nequist told me to do and I do everything she tells me to do. And sitting at the bar like I always do because that's where I meet people. I met a bunch of you guys there yesterday, by the way. Um, and the bartender says, I know it seems weird, but our fried fish, fish sandwich is the best thing on the menu. Even though we're in Colorado, we're not even, we're not by an ocean. We're not, we're in the middle of the United States. And yet I'm telling you to get the fried fish inside, but then I will. I will love what you love. Um, last night I went to like the local theater production of Gypsy because I talked to someone who said, oh, more people are coming back right now. So I'm um, who said, you should check out our local theater. Um, and we have a really incredible lead um, playing Rose for Gypsy. Look, looks, they're like, what was she doing there? And I said, okay, I will. So I went to Gypsy last night and it was incredible and I cried. Um, and so I think it's not a terrible approach in general. Um, whether we're traveling, whether we are in a relationship, to be like, you know what? I'm gonna love what you love. Um, Tyler does this with me because I love food so much and talking about food and taking pictures of food. So now everywhere he is, he sends me a picture of his food and he's like, who am I? What am I doing? I've never done this in my life and now I am. It's because he loves what I love. So, okay. I have loved the things that the people of Aspen love so much. The trails, the river, the theater, the food. Um, 
so many incredible little memories I made here in one little week. And so today I'm on my way to Grand Marais, Minnesota. And I fly to Minneapolis and then I drive my ass all the way almost to Canada until I get to this sweet little town. And you better believe I am planning on loving what they love. Absolutely everything. So I can't wait to show you around Grand Marais and what I am seeing and experiencing and learning and loving and what they love, what they want me to love, because I will. Um, and I'll be there for three weeks. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? So in the meantime, thank you. Look, these guys were talking about me just now. Like, what is she doing? Sure. Thank you, Aspen. Look, 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 look. What a beauty.